Let me show you some code. Generators were inspired by coroutines, a sequence of code that relinquishes control explicitly and is able to be resumed at the same point later. Look at this simple example. G is a generator in its definition looks like a function definition, except for the leading star. When invoked, a generator returns an iterator. Here, we store that iterator into the it constant, and as every iterator, invoking its next method returns an object with a value and a down property. See the iterator in iterable interfaces video for further details. The first call to next will start the computation. Print I'm starting and yield the value to return, that is 11. Yield is a new keyword of ECMAScript 2015 that suspends the computation of the iterator. Yield can only appear in a generator and must not appear within internal functions. The second call to next resumes the computation from the previous yield, prints resuming, yields again a new value, 20, and suspends again the computation of the iterator. The third call to next resumes the computation, prints about to return, and returns from the iterator, meaning that the iterator is now exhausted and the drawn property is now true. Iterator created by generators know how to suspend and be resumed. Each iterator adds, has its own knowledge of where to resume, as shown in the second example where two iterators were interlaced. Iterators may also be endless. For instance, you may enumerate odd numbers, as in the G odds generator, or you may enumerate Fibonacci numbers.